friends. Look who's here. Oh, hi. So good to see you. This is my wonderful sister friend, Laura Spencer. Obviously, you know that. If you're here at this point, <laughs> like, you know that. Presumably, this is not the first time you've seen either of us. Spoiler Although, alert, we are sisters in the show. In real life. Oh. Spoiler alert, also in real life. It's taken 10 years for us to reveal this to you, but that's the bonus Surprise. content, folks. <laughs> that did happen a lot when we were out. Like, you, me, and Mary Kate, people would ask us, and we would just lie. we go like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we um, do. We do look like we could be sisters. That's great why casting. we were cast. But the other thing about it, and you know this, is that when you have red hair, people tell you you look like every other person with red hair. This is true. This You're is like, true. I actually don't look like that person. <laughs> but thank you. Have you ever um, gotten somebody saying, you look like um, Lizzie Bennett? <laughs> yes. Exactly. That has happened to me. Yes. Ironically, it was in an anthropology. Incredible. Which was, which was my mecca at the time. Incredible. So, um, yeah, no, I was buying something in anthropology, probably to wear on the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And she was like, you look a lot, there's this show called the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And I almost just like lied. I almost just went, oh, okay, that's funny. But I was with my mom and my mom was like, <sighs> and I was like, yeah, it's me. I am that. I am her. I think I was confusing her because I was I was visiting my mom. I was so I wasn't in Los Angeles. Like oh, I was area. you know what that so happened to me when I was in Oklahoma. Somebody mm. was like, "You look like so and so," and I was like, "I am." And they're like, "What? Why are you here?" <laughs> like I'm from this here. This isn't Hollywood. <laughs> hey, so yeah, we're here, and um, you can support me on Patreon and get extended and bonus versions of the episodes. My name is Ashley Clemens. And my name is Laura Spencer, and... And this is The Look Back Diaries. And this is the theme. <laughs> I feel like you could see in the show how much, like, my Muppetness does come out a lot. And they were, they were constantly pushing, like, can Lizzie be, like, more bigger, louder, faster, funnier? And, uh, and that is how that manifests for me. I'm like, oh, okay, I have to be funnier. <laughs> well, in that Gotta case. Gotta put on a show for the folks. Let me do a bit. <laughs> you know, and I couldn't jump up and tap dance. So I just had to do weird arms. I wonder if I do weird arms in this episode. Shall we check it out? Oh, let's, let's browse. You're in the, the name of this one. It's called Jane, Jane. Chimes In. Oh, hello. That hello. little red bow making another appearance. Look how your lipsticks matches. It's so cute. Uh, yes. The, I guess. <laughs> you I, are so <laughs> precious. It's just. It's making me realize, like, I, you know, it was so fun because the camera was a character, you know, like. Yes. Looking that's a directly great way to put into it. the camera. Which was very weird to do, right? It was um, such an adjustment, but it became like this. It was a person, you know, that you were mm -hmm. talking to. And mm -hmm. as we started seeing people that were watching the show, it's like you, you knew you were, like, talking to somebody at home. And I remember as – today because I've been getting some comments. Oh, my gosh. I'm just, like, so distracted watching this because I haven't seen it in years. I know. And, of course, oh. I'm just looking at my hair. Not liking my hair. Your hair is perfect. <laughs> Do you cosplay in this one? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, you're oh, doing impressions. Is, yes. <laughs> but this is your your assessment of if I'm if I'm a reliable narrator. <laughs> That's yeah. It's just a so, candid photo of Julia. Right. I love this. How about the illustrious? You're agreeing with me. Just want to say. Oh. 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 And I remember specifically as Jane, like, I'm noticing because I'm like, why am I so like this to you? But I was like specifically trying to be bad at being in front of the camera as Jane. You get, like, whereas, you get better at it. <laughs> like closing off. and I love our bond. <laughs> Wait, this, this is one of the best bits, though, is, is you're trying to come up with a compliment for Darcy. <laughs> Uh, a, an example of cuts being used as a yeah the, as a comedic device for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this episode? 
Margaret. Oh, Margaret. This was a great episode. Yeah. Personality. <laughs> look how guilty you look. <laughs> what did you think about Caroline? Think I think she's subject. mean. Yeah. Had we cast? Had she's... we cast her yet? No, we had not. Hey, this is still the second shoot day. Oh, right. See, I'm forgetting the batch. Oh, so shamed. This is wild. Were we moving toward casting people? Like, at what point are the other people cast? I mean, because we were the four people for so long. I know. I think we have to get into the fourth month. Wow. Um, yeah. They show up. Yeah, after VidCon. Wow. Yeah. And they were, you know, they were toying with ever seeing anyone else or if it was going to be just true. four of us the whole time. And then they realized that people would not, not like never seeing them. Oh, yeah. You can't not see Darcy. So, Jane, if you're watching this, and I know you are, don't listen to Charlotte. I love how Charlotte's character was yes. also in the editing throughout the show. That was very clever. Um, it was clever. I hope. I I always talk about Darcy. I mean, she's obsessed. Precious. Wow. I mean, what's funny there is, you know, they just said you and you and Bing have only hung out like four times, but we are very serious about someone you have not spent that much time with. Had you never dated before? Right. <laughs> It does kind of seem like that, right? It seems like none of these it's girls very have pure, ever for sure. had a boyfriend. Um, like, not in uh, high school, not in college. Because we, we, we thought Jane was, like, 26-ish in the show. Uh, yeah, I think so. Lizzie says she's 24 and you're older than her, so that's Jane. I think it's convincing that Jane would be, like, more, you know, in – to her, you know, her career of what she's doing and kind of yeah, like no, totally. with her friends but she's a lot also and not clearly someone that men were approaching. But I don't know that she would like have taken those invitations besides being like nice to everybody, but like yes, actually pursuing nice actually sure. pursuing a relationship. I could see her being very discerning of like who she Yeah, maybe you no know, one gave her heart to. Your fancy. Well, and also Jane is so nice that she, I could see her being the type of person who doesn't pick up on someone flirting with her because she's exactly. just like, yeah, he was really nice. Yes. Like everyone is really sure. nice. For sure. For sure. people. <laughs> yeah, he just got me this gift. I, that was so sweet of him. It was like, so thoughtful. <laughs> You're like, yes, he would like to know you better. Let's take a look at the comments. Hey, if there's any good comments. I love that she starts with, oh, hi, it's so good to see you. When Charlotte used that exact line repeatedly last episode for a Jane impression. <laughs> yes, Scar uh, Scar Rabbi, six years ago. Excellent point. And yeah, and then it became a bit. Maybe that was just something that Margaret came up with and, and like really great. threaded through. Pops to, to Margaret. I loved how relieved Jane is when she can say that he's tall. Me too. Didn't I say the same thing? He's tall. Darcy's tall. God, I love Jane. Yes. Yes. That was a very funny beat. And the Lizzie Bennet Diaries itself commented, it seems like everything Jane wears becomes a want. It's true. It's true. Yeah, and here's, you know, uh, I love the subtle references to the PMP, to the original PMP in the series, like Lizzie saying that hanging out four times isn't enough to base a long-term relationship off of, and yet Lizzie and Jane in the novel don't exactly spend a lot of time with Darcy and Bailey it's before they're engaged. It's true, although different time. Different time period. <laughs> different standards yeah I mean you know basically like if you danced three times people would think you were engaged um most recently uh six months ago saved girl 309 says Lizzie's air quotes around plans made me wonder why Darcy won't be joining them too anxious worried about optics did Caroline influence him Lizzie mentioned them talking like Statler and Waldorf did she subtly discourage Darcy's crush he mentions their class differences later which sounds more like Caroline than him well I think maybe it's that Lizzie doesn't think Darcy has friends. Um, <laughs> and we'll learn more about Darcy's awkwardness uh, from Jane in a future episode. Well, it was so good to have Jane chime in and so good to have 
Laura chime oh. in. Thanks for Ding joining. Dong. Ding. <laughs> Stick around. Not you at home. Oh. Laura at home. Oh, me. <laughs> Wait, that's different people. Laura, stay. Great. Audience, go. Audience, join us again later. I'm keeping Laura. See you then.